Hey guys, it's Amy, your golf coach, and this is my sister. Hi, it's Christine. We're playing golf at Sand Canyon Country Club. We're continuing with our mystery A games. So are you ready to pick the next one? Yep. Okay, ready, pick a ball. Ta-da, what does it say? Salted, smart, and salt. Ta-da. So what this does is it shows your footwork, it shows where you're putting pressure in your feet during the swing, which is amazing. I've used the insoles to work on my waist shift as well, so it's a lot better now. So using the insole, what we're gonna do on the first hole is that we're gonna check out your footwork and compare it to a professional's. Shot. Somebody's getting better. I'm taking a peek, but your footwork looks really good, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Looks good. Three, two, one. Good. Pin high. Weight on the left, ball position's right at the middle. Three, two, one. Nice. Two, one. Whoa. Par. Two, one. Wow, nice par. <laughs> Good job. You know, I remember doing the Wii balance board thing with you like long time ago. Yeah. And I remember her balance was like perfect. And mine was terrible. So I've always worked on my balance. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, dude, her balance is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this is the day amateur is better than a pro. Let's see. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, in the setup, looks like a very nice distribution. This is something. I would like to have because <laughs> she has pressure in the balls of her feet and the heels but the distribution is really great actually it's a little bit more pressure in the balls like 60 percent perfect okay let's watch slow motion mm, wow so good this is actually one of the best amateur footwork oh I've really seen. yes for sure i've seen uh worse pros footwork than oh. this yeah so it's really great she has that linear almost linear looking it's kind of like a pointier that way so we're going to talk about that so at the top of the backswing um, I would like to see like you have 92 percent at the top of the backswing it's a little bit too much mm. yeah so I would like to see around more 80 okay. percent because you do tend to kind of fold your arms and kind of sit into the right too much okay. and then compared to the ball of your trail foot I would like to see a little bit more in the heel which it's 49.51 so like it's about even right mm -hmm. so I'd like to see it more in the heel with um less pressure in the right foot, like 80% okay. more in the heel. I'm gonna get you that feeling. So basically, simple words, amified words, you just have to turn centered. Turn centered, you feel less pressure in the right foot, it'll go into the heel. Mm -hmm. But if you kind of lean into the right, now it could be even and put more pressure in the toe, in the ball of your foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so more rotation puts the pressure in the heel, more centered. And then on the way down, wow, that's really good. This is perfect for an iron swing, but your pressure is in the left foot 100%. We'd like to see a little bit of a hang back in your ball of your trail foot. Mm -hmm. So there's little pressure in the ball here. Iron footwork and driver footwork is slightly different. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to really focus to get this down. But this 100% on the left, extra pressure in the heel is like so ideal. Like okay. you have no idea how many years I've worked on to get to where you are now. So unfair. And then in the finish, you maintain that 100%, almost 90% of it in the heel, which is like perfect. I'm really impressed. <laughs> Thank you. It's really good. Let's check out the iron swing. Okay. So once again, very even in both feet. It's really good. At the top. Same thing here, exact same thing, right? 
52 in the ball of your trail foot, 96 in the trail foot. So it's swayed too much in the front. We want more turned, more pressure in the heel. Okay. Yep. So centered in the right heel. You're not actually going to lean back, mm -hmm. but if you rotate, it engages your glute and goes into the heel. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll explain it a little bit more thoroughly when we do the drill. In the downswing, actually you do the opposite, which is very common in amateurs. Mm -hmm. So for the driver, downswing you're doing an iron shift mm -hmm. and then for the iron downswing you're doing the driver oh, shift really? with the hang back but I've seen this almost like 90% in amateurs so with the drivers you will hit it high right because you're not hanging back uh -huh. with the irons you would hit it either thin or fat because you're hanging back oh. yeah so the weight shift should be the opposite but you're putting the pressure in the heel nicely before the impact which is so important that's really great you're utilizing your glute muscle which is great and the finish, you're finishing 100% on the left, which is really excellent. Wow, I'm impressed. So the biggest thing here was the back swing. Too much weight shift, too much in the front was sway. Uh -huh. So I need you to turn centered so we can get it in the heel. Uh -huh. uh, less pressure in the trail foot. And then on the way down for the driver, we had to hang back. For the irons, we had to shift through. Shift, okay. Yeah, I wanted to focus on the driver and the irons, but let's just check out the short game, see how it looks. Ooh, maintain that into the right foot like 10% but not bad and then you drop through beautifully uh oh you rock back oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right so you're much better at maintaining on the lead foot than before but you hit and you're like rocking back I wonder what your putting looks like so good she has like this stable 50 50 even distribution in her feet so jealous I thought we share similar genetics, I guess not. <laughs> not much rocking around during the putting, so we won't worry about that. I compared uh, Christine's footwork, which is an amateur's footwork, to a professional's. Her footwork was beyond excellent, in my opinion, um, but we did some differences where she was swinging too much into the right in the back swing, and then um, she did the opposite weight shift for the driver and the irons. So, in the next hole, I'm gonna g go ahead and give you a quick drill you can do on the golf course to help you fix that. I'm really excited to try it. Thank you guys for golfing with us. See you in the next one.